As we grew, all the, the problems grew with us. A very hostile work environment. And there was a lot of name calling, arguing, fighting. Communication was lacking between supervisors, between employees. Everybody had the, you know, their own agendas. You, you had to watch what you said. No teamwork at all. Extremely uncomfortable. You can feel a lot of uh, negative energy. We're not living up to our full potential. potential. We're going to learn how to unify the will of your people. It's leadership, leadership. driven by driven passion by with passion. purpose. To me, that's what game day leadership is all about. I lived and grew up in the NFL. From the age of 8 to 18, every summer, I wasn't vacationing. I was at a training camp. And I had the privilege of being the water boy for the offensive line because my dad was an offensive lineman. And then I played football for the University of Southern California. And I went on to be the recipient of the Vince Lombardi Award and then played eight years for the Kansas City Chiefs. And during those privileged years, I learned from leaders, Hall of Fame coaches, and Hall of Fame players of how to compete honorably at the highest level. The game day leadership is all about is actually changing behavior, helping people learn how to do things in a selfless way in a timely manner. Game day actually teaches you the skill versus just telling you what to do. There's been huge changes in the six or eight weeks we've done it. People are communicating more, they're, uh, they're definitely cooperating more, they seem happier. The communication that was established with the individuals here was uh, simply amazing. Generally, success is learned before it's earned. There's uh, common characteristics for success on and off the field. Number one is learn how to compete in an honorable way. The second principle is selfless teamwork. And number three, we need to be tested. I was looking to Brad as somebody who, because of his background and his skills and his expertise, is able to connect in a no-nonsense kind of way um, with people. It's a building block uh, for my management skills and it's something that I can use whether I use it here, my personal life, or even another job. Brad has since taught and mentored uh, our technicians and our folks in fleet services with the end result being um, an increase in productivity, uh, an ability for them to get along together, and a tremendous increase in um, communication between all of the members. The game day experience is dynamic, which means that there's room for individuality, but under the umbrella of team, those who complete the game day process grow in a personal and professional way. Personally, you come out knowing yourself better. And when you have people who know themselves well, know how to share it where others can receive it and understand it, that's the making of a championship team. After Brad Buddy got here, it was a complete uh, 360 turnaround. Uh, communication, dialogue started to uh, come about. You had a lot of uh, technicians sharing information with each other. So then now Brad has got the system that's uh, very, like I said, very practical, very hands-on. It's uh, hold us all accountable to each other, it holds management accountable to, uh, to us. Our goals are written out, our expectations are clarified. It's all of us to be kind of united, like almost like just like a football team. Competition, productivity uh, brings out the best in us. The difference from a winner and a loser isn't that the winners always are perfect. The winners never make the same mistake twice.